just dropped my new mixtape. Fire department's already here. I'm just kidding. We're going to go uh, this place called Ryu's to go get uh, schedule my tattoo appointment because I want to get a half sleeve tattoo. I've always wanted to get it. And today's a gorgeous day, and I just got my tax returns back. I just ordered a new fairing kit for my bike, so that'll be coming soon. And uh, yeah, let's go. What is going on? Woo! It is so fucking nice out right now. It's not even funny. And uh, I'm on my GPS right now. On my way to get a fucking, not a tattoo, make a tattoo appointment since I just got my tax returns back and I got some money to spare. So I figured why the fuck not, right? Japan, you gotta stop at these train tracks, but I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. This is really nice. These are little people's houses right there. This is what I tell you about, guys. Don't take your shit for granted. Oh, what a nice skyline right there. Supposedly it's right up here. Now, nah, where does it want me to go? Now where does it want me to go? I've never been over to this part. This is probably new to you guys too. This is like the complete opposite direction of what I really turn out when I go to base. I use custom design. Doi. <laughs> Open 12 to 1900, close sometimes. Makes sense. So, I just booked a tattoo appointment, and the reason why I wasn't saying anything, because there's people in there, and I didn't want them to be like, who the fuck is he talking to? But, when I walked in, I think they're called, I don't know, I'm taking this from fucking Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift, funny huh? Um, the shoes I put on, I think they're called Wabaki, if I believe. <laughs> Wabaki. Wabaki. I have a, I have a card and thing. It's I think it's like March third, March sixteenth, and March twenty something. I'm coming in for three sessions. I'm getting a half sleeve. I'm not gonna tell you guys yet. I'll show you it all until it's done. But it's gonna be good because that leaves me another month or so to lean out, get leaner. Because I'm on a cut right now. It's going good. We're on a. Day four, I believe, of uh, my diet. It's going good. Tracking macros, tracking my calories and shit. Hitting the gym as much as I want to. And we are fucking good to go. We're going to get leaned out, get a fucking six pack. Look at this life quote right here. Nothing worth having comes easy. So it was a weird place. Like you saw that like, I passed the building the first time. I didn't see it. And then there was a fucking big red sign that said Ryu's fucking tattoo place. But this place has been recommended from so many of my friends and shit. And they do great fucking work. And uh, see like all these like that's a massage place. I guarantee you to go in there and they'll give you a fucking hand job. Whew, thank God for this smoked windscreen. That guy was looking at me so weird. He probably just knows I'm not fucking... Probably just knows I'm not fucking uh, Japanese because I'm running around with like fucking khakis, a sweatshirt on, and fucking motorcycle boots tucked in. Well, I mean, they, I don't know if the boots would say anything, but I'm wearing a fucking GoPro, and that seems to be like fascinated by GoPros for some reason. There you go, the farmers in action. Tune in next time on the Japanese farm, the outcast. Um, ladies, like, I'll go, and just fucking cut me off almost. I think I'm getting it on my right arm though, because I have something on my left arm. I don't want it to like intersect and shit. It should look pretty cool. I have to go back. Uh, I didn't have yen on me. My friend said they accepted dollars, which was wrong. Because uh, he's just like, nah, dude, only yen. He didn't speak that good English, but he understood me. Fucking train tracks are fucking gay. Like that lady's hat. Oh, she heard me. Oops. In my last couple of vlogs, when I said like the roads are narrow and shit, I said this is precisely what I'm talking about right here. Cause oh, that's actually a pretty cool house. It's like a, like literally like they have like gardens. They're all about that gardening life. 
Those guys are playing tennis over there. I don't know if that was illegal, but I'm not gonna fucking wait there to make a left because of fucking train. I don't know how exciting this vlog is, but I just wanted to get something out for you. That's a nice, that looks like a GTR for some reason underneath that cover. I might be wrong, but that looks like a GTR under that cover. It's so down. I hope you guys liked my, uh, my Q&A video. If you guys didn't get questions down for that, there will be another one soon. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Would you want to, do you want to see another one at 1,500 subscribers or 2,000, you know? What should we do? Dude, I hate people. They scare the shit out of me. Like that guy looks like he just pooped. I'm going to fucking ride the shoulder this whole way. Fuck all this shit. Doing illegal things since day one. I kind of want to take you guys into this store up here just to show you. I'll go in that show store. I'll show you how fucked up it is. And it's not really fucked up aside from the section that has like a whole bunch of pocket pussies and shit. But like they just have everything. Like what is that? That's a McLaren. Look at me breaking necks. Oh, is this person going to cut my lane? Better not. <laughs> Rev bombed all of them. I don't know what's up here, so I shouldn't go too fast through here. What are we looking like? See, I don't know what's up here. Brake lights. One time I flew through here so quick that I almost fucking uh, like smacked a car up here because like I was flying and you can't see anything above that tunnel. I'm riding squid right now, aside from my gloves and helmet, so I shouldn't go to do anything too stupid. It's a motorcycle shop. That's beast. I gotta ask my friend. I gotta get a new cover. Once I get a new Farron kit, I need to get this new, uh... New Farron kit for my bike. I wanna get a cover that protects the shit out of it. That looks like a 250 just by the tire, the size of the tire on it. That's a fucking nice bike. Damn, that is a really nice bike. Hey. That is a gorgeous bike. He's got a GoPro right on the front too. There is nothing too spectacular except me book an appointment to get a tattoo and shit. So I'll catch you guys next week. As always guys, don't forget, forget to hit subscribe, drop a comment below. If you guys made it this far, comment. If you guys have tattoos, if you do, what's your opinion on them? Anyway. I will catch you guys next week, like my Facebook, my uh, follow me on Instagram and all that shit, and see you guys next week.